2020. Well, it wasn't supposed to be this way. Indonesia, Egypt, Ukraine, that's what you could already see on our YouTube channel. Nevertheless, going through my old videos from 2019, I just realized that there is one country that I didn't tell you about. So, well, are you ready? And I'm talking about Korea, oh, that's obvious. The country that is famous for hamburg, K-pop, cute traditional hats, kimchi, Korean barbecue and many, many, many others. Last year I joined the International Youth Forum in Seoul, where I met new friends for life. So what exactly happened in Korea in July 2019? Let's dive right in. I should go there. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, where, where? Yeah. We need to So I'm super, super happy. And uh, here in the background, you can see my friends, new friends, Indonesia. Hi. Yeah! Hi. Daddy Indonesia, can you imagine? We have also friends from Russia. Hi. But she lives in Kazakhstan. So you can see that our team is international. And today we want to just uh, discover a bit uh, Korea, Seoul. I follow my friends because Temanku, um, Daddy Indonesia, Suda, Di Korea, Dan, Dia. Suka Korea. Cinta cinta ya. Cinta Korea. Selamat kembali ke Indonesia. Oh no 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 no. Uh, it's one one, one more. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Travel by metro. You can use this card. Yeah. City bus. I have it, but I'm not sure if I have uh, still enough money here. So I will just check in this. <laughs> Machine and we will see. Bisa, bahasa Korea. Ah, you can be this. Yes, tapi bisa ya, bisa ya. Kami kasih emas di sisi. Yeah, in this. Kami mencari the correct station. Actually, you just want to eat something because kami lapar sekali. Hujan, look at that. Hujan ke sana dan kami di sini dan tidak bisa jalan-jalan. Oh, sedih. I came in this season when yes, it's raining every day, so we just have to wait or maybe we will decide to go. Tapi, tapi it's okay. Aku lapar sedikit. Then kami mau makan makanan Korea. There 
is a cue because many people want to take a picture, you know, with this <laughs> shelves in this library. So also I want to go there. Akumau, Kasana and Akumau. Foto. Yeah. <laughs> Foto dulu. Okay, so finally we got it and that's a soup cut out. I know that here in Korea there is a rule that you cannot use a red pen when you write the name. No, no, you cannot write use red You cannot. Pen. Because Korean people think it kind of curses you if you write with your red pen. Like if you write with a red pen. That's a very rude thing to do. So you would always write with any other color, you know? Because I don't know why though, but like it's a very rude thing to write the name in Korean, like red pen. So you, you should watch out. Never write a name. There's no fourth floors in Korea. Because four in um, the same meaning as death. So the so if you enter like a building, there's quite a lot of buildings without missing a fourth floor. It doesn't say fourth, so they would just call it a different floor, or they wouldn't say they wouldn't write four, they would write F instead of the number four because that means death. Yeah, yeah, that's another interesting part. When you're born, you're not zero, you're one when you're born, you're age one, so you don't start from zero, you start from age one. So I'm 25 in Korea, but 25, four in Europe, anywhere else. Besides Korea, yeah, that's it's something interesting. And everyone ages at the same time. On the 1st of January, you age, everyone ages at the same time. Not, it's, you don't count birthdays. So, I mean, that's something different. There is a fourth floor, yeah? They didn't make like F. Right, right. But like more traditional buildings won't have fourth floor at all. Sometimes they have F instead of number four. <laughs> Guys, this is Chinese, this is Korea, this is English. Yeah. And what is that? Uh, oh, oh, it says it here. Yeah. Sometimes when I go to this kind of Korean restaurants and I order something, I don't understand a word. I just choose a random dish and uh, I don't know what they will bring for me. This time, you know, this is English version of this um, menu. You just have to come here and we have to choose what we want, right? So I will order this udon. Okay, dan, dan, sekarang. So I said I ordered, I don't know because I don't understand Korean, I will wait for that. I hope that it will work. Here's my friend. Yeah, it's good, it's good, it's good, yeah. Made it! Bye bye! Bye bye! It's really hard to travel with braces because now, for example, I ate in this restaurant and I feel that I have uh, something in my teeth, but uh, I cannot wash it because they don't have bathroom. If you want to put your braces on, just think twice, guys. Thousand?
Hanbok is a really typical dress here in Korea and Korean women, but not only women, also men, wear it for special occasion. And today is also a special occasion for me because I'm in Korea. Mm -hmm. I just put the dress clothing to the height. Okay. I think you can just choose from here. Um, oh yes, that's my height. <laughs> and we have two kinds of dress. Here is black, here is white. For black one, it's premier. If you rent from here, we should pay thousand more. And here is the normal price. Traditional price is the price just like here. Okay, okay, you can, okay. You can just push me to Okay. Oh yeah, this is so pretty. <gasps> wow. And I really don't know which one I should choose. So maybe you can help me. Look at that, look at that. I will choose this one because I really like red color, so uh, I feel this one will be the best, yes. So pretty, you know, but it's so hot. Super hot. If you rent this hanbok and you go to palace, like one of these typical palaces in Korea, you can get this free entrance, so it's a really cool idea. And of course you can rent this hanbok for half an hour, one hour or two hours. I rented for one hour and I paid 11,000 won. So that was okay, I think, just to go around, to take some pictures. So that's the end, I think, because I'm actually Chape Sakali. So many food, I don't know what to get. Don't worry, we're going back again. Stay tuned. for children to sleep like uh... In Indonesian, ayo. Ayo. ayo, ayo, ayo. Oh, look at that! And one, <laughs> two more. <laughs> Let's count: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because there's a lot of food in Korea because you always get more than what you can eat. Okay, so fifteen. <laughs>